Hi there, my name is Aaron Short and welcome to another episode of Acoustic Guitar Pickups. Today we have the legendary Maiden AP5 Pro system. There's been a few of these around. I remember the AP5 and the AP5 mic, designed in conjunction with the awesome Tommy Emmanuel, of course. The latest iteration is the AP5 Pro. This is a gooseneck microphone inside the guitar where you can angle it anywhere you want from the sound hole or back into the guitar. I have it pointing at the bridge right now. And also a undersaddle pickup, which is kind of part of the guitar. It's similar to the Takamini system. Just a big pickup, but the guitar is kind of built around it. So you really get a great tone from that. But you also have a preamp on the side. Now, this is very powerful. A lot of companies now are getting away from controls and cutouts on guitars. I think this is useful. I think as a stage instrument, this thing is amazing because you have instant access to your battery and you do have really great battery life in this system. I think it's around 100 hours or more. It uses two AA batteries. You have a mic control, volume control, and an undersettle volume control, plus a master volume control. So you can get the blend right and then just move the master up and down. That's very nice. There's also a bass control, a treble control, and a sweepable mid. So this is a very powerful system. If you angle the mic in the right place and use these controls, you can really dial in for strumming or finger style or lead work. It's incredibly versatile. I'll show you some of the features later on. So this is a Maiden EBG 808C. It's a cutaway Nashville model. I think it was designed in conjunction with Keith Urban. It's a really nice looking sunburst cutaway guitar. Again, I'm not here to review the guitar today. I'm here to talk about the pickup. So, let me show you what it sounds like. First of all, I will play the guitar straight through my room microphone with no effects so you can hear what the guitar sounds like in the room. So I think the guitar sounds great. It's a smaller body, kind of medium sized guitar, but it sounds nice in the room. And that's just a reference for you. That's the shotgun mic aimed right at the guitar. Now I'm gonna show you the pickup sounds. So first of all, I'll give you the undersaddle by itself with all the EQ set flat. So I think you'll agree that sounds like a very good undersaddle. It still has some plasticky qualities to it. it. Doesn't sound completely natural, but it's full and it's powerful and it's loud and sounds better than most undersaddle pickups. Having said that, I prefer to have a mic with my undersaddle pickup and this guitar has a mic. So let me show you the mic by itself. Now stick around because the real magic here is when you blend the two together. But here's the mic by itself. Now you can probably tell that microphone is not designed to be used alone. They have deliberately removed all the low end from the mic so it won't feed back inside the guitar. This is pretty normal. It's something that other pickups do. They use crossovers. This one is just using EQ to create the crossover. So the pickup is full range as far as I can hear, but the mic is going to go on top of that sound to hide that quacky sound that we get from the undersaddle. So what I need to do is blend it in. Now one thing to note with the AP5 Pro, the EQ on the guitar does not affect the mic. It only affects the undersaddle. So what I'm gonna do is, I can't show you every combination of settings here, there's many of them. But I will show you 50% mic, 50% undersaddle pickup. Let's see what you think of this. Now I think that sounded much better, really good. There is kind of a ringing frequency up high, you've got to be careful with that. You might want to try and EQ that out, or you might want to try and move the position of the microphone or ch change the blend control. There's definitely something there, but I love that organic sound it gives you, it really works nicely. Also gives you a lot of body sounds, of course, which I'll demonstrate next, but the EQ is very powerful here. You've got the bass, as I said, the treble, also the sweepable mid, so you can really boost the mid and find the offending frequency and take it out. 
Or sometimes I kind of use that as my own custom treble control. I might bring the treble down and use the mid control as a treble because they kind of cross over. The treble's around two kilohertz or 2.5, I believe, and the mid control is around two as well, down to 600. So you can use it as your own kind of custom treble. Really, the combinations here are, I'm not gonna say endless, but there's many of them. And it's also nice that you can adjust it for finger style or lead playing or rhythm playing. So what I like to do is maybe bring the treble down because I've got a lot of treble from the mic anyway. I might add more blend from the under saddle just so there's not quite as much microphone. And I might turn the mid control up. Let me see what it sounds like. Let's see how this sounds. Check this out. So I like that blend and I found live that worked really well. Of course, for recording and different rooms, you want to change things. It's nice you were able to with this. I really love the sound of it. Now regarding the body percussion, it's a smaller body. It's not a dreadnought. It doesn't have a soundboard transduce. So that always gives more body percussion in my opinion. But the mic does pick some up. Again, it's very high frequencies on the mic. So it's not like having a real mic inside the guitar and drumming on it. You're not gonna get that huge percussive sound, but you do get percussion sounds. And if you EQ and boost the bass and turn the volume up, you can drum on this thing because there's a mic inside it. But as you heard, the microphone is to be used with the pickup because it is pretty much just treble frequencies. You really have to bear this in mind when you dial this thing in. I think some people might grab this, turn the mic up and, and not understand what's going on. So do make sure you familiarize yourself with the controls when you test these things out. But I have to say, Tommy Emmanuel cannot be wrong. He makes these things sound amazing. Of course, he makes everything sound amazing. This is his pickup of choice. It really is versatile and stage ready. It doesn't sound like the guitar, but louder, but I don't always want that. Sometimes I just want a very direct, immediate, full bodied big bottom end, powerful sound. And that's what this system gives you in a very playable, nice looking guitar. So I love these systems. I think for a first party system where they factory install the pickup, this is one of the best. I highly recommend you check them out. And there's actually a version now made by Bradley Clark, which can be installed into other guitars. It's not the AB5, it's a similar concept. And that might be worth checking out one day as well. I think they're in Kepmer guitars right now. But I do love the main guitars. And as an all-in-one stage guitar, these are hard to beat. So check them out. If you've got one, let me know what you think of these in the comments below. Please subscribe and watch out for the next episode of Acoustic Guitar Pickups. Thank you. Bye-bye.